Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. In today's episode, we'll be looking at another hidden gem, JS Tilt EQ. JS Tilt EQ is a simple tilt equalizer circuit plugin that has only a few basic controls. It has a boost cut slider and a center frequency slider. With the plugin activated, if you boost or cut with a shelving filter above the center frequency, it does the opposite below the center frequency. This can give you a quick and easy way to brighten or darken a mix or a certain track. Let's take a look. The project I have open is just something I was tracking a few days ago in my home studio. It's me playing a couple of guitar lines and also some drums and bass. And while the mix is far from finished, it's sounding pretty good. Let's take a listen from Marker 2, which is where I go into a bit heavier part, and you'll notice that while the track sounds pretty good, it's a little bit dark. The song could use some EQ work on a few different elements, but let's place JS Tilt EQ on the master and see how quickly we can brighten or darken the mix. I'll open up the effects browser on my master track, and let's add JS Tilt EQ. Now for this demonstration, we'll turn off the limiter and just take a listen to the EQ. The controls, as we said earlier, are very simple. We have a center frequency slider, and we can tell by the marker at the lower left that the current center frequency is 639 Hz. This means that if I move the tilt slider to the right, it will increase all frequencies above 639 Hz with a curve, and it will subsequently lower all frequencies below that. I'll play the song again and move the slider up and see if you can hear the difference. I only moved that up a small amount, but you can immediately hear the difference. The top end is brightened a bit, and the lower end is cleared up, the muddiness is gone. Let's try doing that the opposite direction. I'll leave it at its current setting, and then I'll start to move it back to the left. And you can quickly hear that as I move the slider to the left, the mix immediately got darker and muddier. Let's return that to the center, and we can adjust the center frequency slider to change the frequency that the tilt EQ works around. Let's move it to the right a bit. As we move to the right, you can see the frequency is increasing. Now our center frequency is roughly 3K. Let's try the same operation again and move the tilt slider back and forth and see what difference it makes. Depending on how extreme your settings are, you may also need to use the output gain slider to adjust the output and avoid clipping the master. Again, this plugin has very simple controls, so it's quite easy to make adjustments to your mix and give it a little bit more brightness or a little bit more warmth. The trick is to make it very slight movements and not to overdo it, and make sure that of course you're doing your EQ work on your individual tracks to make room for all of the instruments and give them each their space. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. You can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link below. And as an added bonus, I'll leave a download link in the description where you can download the tracks that I've recorded here. I'll be sure to leave all the amps and all plugins off so you've got dry stems. To really make this sound good, you'll have to add your own amp stems and mix my drums. I'd like to see what you guys come up with. Be sure to join us on Discord using the link in the description and post your mix to the Mix Critique section. We'll see you next time. You were waiting on me to say I like coffee. I like coffee.